It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. Back to back to projects. So, so Dave, you just kind of do projects willy nilly whenever. I feel like, uh, especially in the exterior cleaning space, if you're in the northern tier, yeah. it's yeah. kind of uh, mid December. One, you know, if you're in Rob's shoes, it's mid December. And, and and we're on Turf Up Radio, so we're talking to a lot of lawn care landscaping guys. Um, I gotta imagine there's maybe a shift from the, and actually, it might be right now where you're shifting from doing like green work to maybe going to snow plowing. If you're up North, there's probably a shift that happens in the different types of projects that you're doing in downtime in between those. Rob, what does that look like for you? How much, how much time do you have in there? And, and do you save up your projects for that time? Or how do you, how do you treat that project work? Um, I'm always trying to just throw more projects in all the time, which is not a good idea. Um, <clears throat> and there was a bunch of things we tried to get response, but set up and just couldn't get, any traction on it didn't have quite quite the support I needed um, to really make that happen. Um, with the you know the new branding for for Christmas sites of WeLightStuffUp.com, um, we'll be doing a you know full training and everything. So making the videos on that once we actually have time to breathe through that. So um, documenting all that, breaking down that a, a big thing, a big loss this year was our reinstalls, taking just absolutely way too long messy takedown sheets just from last um, year not taking down correctly that reinstall yeah either not taking down correctly and and you know um we only had one returning installer from last year so the guys at one of the guys specifically that did a lot of the takedowns uh, was apparently he was mentally already out the door so he just kind of i'm not i'm not an artist by any means um, his look like just horrible. his was abstract art. It was very, it, it was, you know. it was just like, so what were you thinking with how, how does this make sense in your mind? Um, so that's a big thing. And then, um, we're, we're hoping if we can get our hands on some new trucks, um, to, to build two or three new flatbeds and stop with all the, we had two box trucks. We had a flatbed this summer. We had to run three trailers um one of the trailers we keep for whatever reason keep jacking up this front left tire um the whole wheel always, always the same one <clears throat> yeah um it's that damn curb when you pull out of the parking lot it's right over dude, there dude it's it's nuts like it's just it just is just like it's not a flat tire like it literally looks like somebody just took like not a sledgehammer but like a big ass axe and just started bashing at it and then it was like, hey, keep driving. I'm going to keep bashing this. And we kept driving. Gremlins. Those, those damn gremlins. Yeah. yeah, the gremlins that just, I mean, it's its some epic stuff on there. Um, and then just really getting ready for the spring. I, I know there's a lot of the, the processes, like you said, getting, you know, your wife to understand what's in your head. I have so much stuff going around in my head that we have to just figure out a way that we can better um, – both get guys to know the basics and bring them up to speed on that. But even simple things like I don't want to have to teach each person which you know, the name names for each ladder. Like it's, it's instant for me. You know, like go grab the 24 and they're like, which ladder, like all this stuff that, Hey man, just sit in front of this, this computer screen for the next half hour, take this quiz. And then we'll know, Hey, did you pay attention to anything? And B that, you you should understand when I tell you to go grab this or this what it is. So I, I had a, a back to the I, we got to run run some commercials here in a second, but but um, my wife and I had a discussion about my inability to listen, uh, which is a really hard discussion to have when you suck at listening, because uh, how are you even supposed to be a good part of that conversation? But back to like your wife reading the thoughts in your mind, I uh. She, she started talking and I've been, I've gotten a lot better at saying, sorry, I, I haven't been listening. Like not, I'm not going to fake it anymore and be like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I know. And then like, and then later be like, oh shit, I didn't hear you say that. So now when I realize that she's talking, I'm like, Hey, I just got to tell you that last, like for sure, at least the last one minute, I have no idea what you said. Uh, something about of this. And so I'm trying to just be like brutally honest about the fact that I like know that I suck at listening. And, and I realized it's not that I'm not listening. It's that she starts talking and interrupts the conversation that I'm having with myself. 
So just like if you were having a conversation with somebody and then somebody else tries to start talking to you, you do, like you can't hear what they're saying because you're already having a conversation. As business owners, we're pretty much always having a conversation in our head about a thing that we're working on. And so we're always talking to somebody. It just happens to be us. And very so, true. Like, mm-hmm. Very true. I, I literally, I was like, honey, I just realized like that it, if we're having a conversation, I'm a great listener and I will ask good questions and I will look you in the face and like, we will have a good conversation. But if you start talking without uh, letting me know that you're about to start talking, um, imagine you starting talking right in the middle of a conversation I'm having with somebody. I may have a really hard time like listening to both of mm-hmm. you. And I, and I have to give this other person there, like I have to finish the conversation with this other person first. That other person just happens to be me. And I was having a conversation with them about what we're going to do with this employee or what we're going to do about this business or what, you know, it's like, so every time she starts talking first, she has to let me know that I got to stop having the conversation with the person that I'm having the conversation with. And then I can like end that conversation and transition to her. It was this weird epiphany that I had and it really helped her and I get on the same page. She was still frustrated because she's like, so like, what the hell am I supposed to do, Dan? Just like slap you? Or, you know, like yell at you. And I was like, yeah, I mean, like maybe not slap, but just like, throw a beer at me, honey. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or if you get me a beer, that would be perfect. If you brought or she me just beer. holds the beer. Dan, do you want a beer? You want a beer? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd be like, oh, hey, me. hey, future Dan. I'm sorry. Don't let her, don't let her find that out. You're, you're going <laughs> other personality, Dan, who I'm having this conversation with. You will understand. I'll be right back. My wife got me a beer. Um, I'll have to let her know about that one. That's good. <laughs> 